All right, welcome to the new Tuesday night team chats at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. So, gosh, I'll never get faster that. Central, 9 Central, 8 Mountain, 7 Pacific. Gosh, it's hard to, like if I had it written out, maybe I would be able to say it fast, but I just can't. So welcome, and tonight I really wanted to talk about keeping it simple. I was doing my power hour yesterday before I went into work and I was sitting there and um, I have a leadership call tomorrow that I'm supposed to be, um, that I'm going to be presenting on because somebody had messaged and said that they couldn't present. And I was like, oh, I don't really have time to create content for that. And then as I was working my power hour, I was like, oh, this is actually really good stuff that I could easily present and share with our team and then share it with the leaders tomorrow because it's been helping me so much and I know that it will help you as well. And a lot of it's going to sound like stuff that you've heard before because it's what I've been preaching for the last two months, but it's been helping me so much that it's that important that I emphasize it again. So let me screen share with you and share with you what I'm talking about. Oh goodness gracious. I made that, I made that cake and it didn't turn out as nice as that one in the picture. I made it for my grandma's 90th birthday. 92nd, 92nd, she was 92. Um, anyways, so I wanna talk about keeping it simple and staying consistent. Today in the Diamond Group with Team Fit Addicted, Meg shared with us a statement from Jeff Hill where he said, um, when you chase a million things, nothing gets done. Nothing gets done when you are in a million different places with your focus. And it's so true. I know that day in and day out, if I have a day where I don't have things planned and written out and on my you know, list specifically, I get nothing done. You get through the day and you've done a lot of things, but you didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish. So less is more. Focusing on the four vital behaviors, your power hours, and training. Those are the three things that you should be focusing on every single day. Every single day, getting those in, you can kind of combine all of them together um, because they all kind of intertwine, but focusing on that specifically and only that. Not getting into, you know, building a website and having, you know, funnel pages. At some point in your business, yes, you can do those things. At some point in your business, you can create freemiums and build an email list and have things out for that email list, but that makes it so complicated. Keep it simple, less is more. When you're focused on getting to Diamond, on building a team, on getting to you know the places that you want to be and building the income you want to build, you have to be focused, like laser focused on the things that actually matter, those income producing activities that we've talked about before. So I really want to share with you the specific thing that is really helping me hit Success Club 10, help people more so than I have in a very long time. It's this go for no tracker right here. It's filling in names every single day, inviting people every single day. And I personally had a lot of trouble when I first came out with this go for no tracker. I still have trouble with the coaching one. I won't be, I won't lie to you. I'm working on trying to figure out how to add more coaches to my team, to our team. And I, I'm struggling in that aspect, but I have figured out how to do it for challenges and it comes down to those simple scripts. It comes down to having the simple scripts. I literally, can you see this when I pull up my notes? Can you see that? I literally have my, oh, where'd it go? Here, right here. These are my simple scripts. I have them pulled up in my note section all the time, and every single day I copy and I paste it into a message, and I, Find the person from my list. So you need to be consistently working from a list. My list is in Teamsy because that's what I use. If you don't have Teamsy, have a physical, tangible list somewhere. I, I was, um, I just redid my office. I got a new desk and I redid my office and um, I found it, my list of people before I had Teamsy and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I have Teamsy now because it makes things so much easier. But before that, I used a regular list and I would check mark off and then now, I just write it in my thing. So I put it in Teamsy and I write it here. And then as people tell me no, I cross off their name because they've told me no, because this is a go for no challenge. So you either want circles or X's through every single one of these names by the end of the month. That's your goal. Your goal is to get a no or a yes from everybody. 
you want an answer. You want to know what's going on. Now I will tell you, there's going to be people who won't respond. There's going to be people who won't say anything, but you're doing the work and you're inviting and you're doing it through these simple scripts. These simple scripts are listed in our team page under the file section under simple scripts. And if you are struggling to build your business in any way, use the simple scripts. I struggled. I struggled to hit success club five almost all year up until last month. And last month, well, it was the very last four days, I think of April that I started to use this. And then all of May, I used it all of May and all of June, I'm using it. So you need to make sure that you're using this. It's so non-confrontational. It's so not in your face and it's truly coming from a place of caring about somebody, which is what we do when we're messaging these people. Likely you've already talked to them once or twice. Even if you haven't, it still comes from a place of caring, it comes from a place of showing them that I don't even know if this is something that would interest you. I really hope you don't mind messaging you about this, but I have this group coming up on June 24th. Make sure that you have your dates set up so that you can have these ready to go. I've got my date set up for June and July and the start of August so that I can go through. And if people say, eh, not right now, right now is not a good time. I can say, Hey, do you want me to follow up with you in August or September? Let's see if that would be a better time for you. Yes, absolutely. I already have a lot of people on the list for then. So using these simple scripts and, and inviting people every single day with them. The minute I send that message to somebody, their name goes on my list. The minute I send this message. So make sure that you're doing that. If you or any of your coaches on your team are struggling with finding challengers, use this. Now, that being said, I've started using this bottom one for coach prospects. I haven't gotten a huge response from it, not as much as the um, challenge response, but I think it's a great way to stop, start the conversation if you have somebody in your life that you think would be a great coach. Why not just ask them? And this is how we do it. I think this is a really great way to go about it and then offering them either a video, um, you know, a 20 minute webinar, a five minute video. If you've created a five minute video on what coaching is a bulleted basics list that we also have in our team page. Um, I think those are great things to do. So if you haven't started using the simple scripts, use them, they work and they work because they're coming from a place that's genuine and real and focused on the person that you're sending that message to. Um, so that's my, that's my spiel, spiel on the go for no tracker. I was using this yesterday. I got out, I, I got out a bunch of invites yesterday and I was like, you know what? This is actually really simple. And this is something that any coach can do no matter what level you're at, whether you sign up today or you signed up last week or you signed up five years ago, you can use it and it's going to help you. So use the go for no tracker. Um, Next is using the My Challenge Tracker app. If you haven't started using this for your challenges, I would highly, highly encourage you to. Here's why. You can set up the app. You can do all of it. Here, I've got the My Challenge Tracker app pulled up right here. So you can have multiple groups going at once. If you want multiple coaches going at once, you can do that. We've got my past groups over here. Um, and then the great thing that I love about this is that I can come in here and I can click post to the group. And instead of posting now, I can schedule every single one of my posts if I want to. I've been working on a new uh, template for my groups and I've been, you know, doing it like two or three days at a time. And just having these scheduled out is so much easier than going in and posting every single day because I wake up at a different time every day. I don't know about you, but it's the last thing that I want to to focus on in my morning. I have a morning routine. I try to not get on the computer until I've been up for a little bit. So I like having it scheduled, posted out. It's already in there and it's ready to go. So you can schedule those, which is huge. So use templates. That's the second thing that I want to talk to you about is making sure that you have templates. Now our team page, we have a Google docs, you know, uh, the pump up nation Google docs, which you can find in the file section of the team 
um, page on Facebook. You can find that. And there is, so Pumped Up Nation, and there is a challenges section. And I have a bunch of templates already in here for you to use. So if you don't know what to do yet, just pop in a template and make it sound like you, and then you're good to go. And you can schedule out that entire thing, and then all you have to focus on is checking in every single day. All, that's all, that's all you have to focus on. You don't have to focus on anything else. You're already getting it done and helping people. You've already got the tips in there. Now you're focused on checking in and seeing how everybody's doing. It makes it a lot easier when you already have those posts scheduled out. And then you don't have to worry about missing days. And I say all of this from experience because I, with challenges, have struggled to stay consistent with posting. So scheduling them out through the My Challenge Tracker app is huge. Um, and my people love it. I don't know about your people. Do your people love it? The challenge app? I actually have had just as bad of luck in the challenge tracker app as I have in Facebook with people going in and seeing, like actually taking the time to go into a different app and going in and logging stuff. Like it's been, most of them do it just as little as they did in Facebook groups. I've had more people. I have, like, way like almost worse <laughs> no and I personally don't like it either like the only aspect of it I like is the scheduling oh I love everything about it I think it's just because I love apps and I like um I like that I can just like log in it's so easy it's so easy to log a workout I'm, I hate the app I like the online thing oh Mm. I feel like as a coach, it's easier to use the online thing. For right. Which obviously the customers or the, um, you know, challengers don't see the online thing. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't decided if my next challenge group, if I'll just go back to Facebook because I feel Some like I have more traction on Facebook, even though my Facebook groups weren't always great. Mm -hmm. so, so I don't know. I almost want to do like a challenge. <laughs> do whatever works best for you. I personally like the app. Um, so I'm going to keep using the app, but if you like Facebook, go for it. Cause I do there. Are, and there's some coaches who run it with both. Right. Um, Which is kind of what I was thinking, like to see if I could like have run like a test group for both and then see what people prefer out of the two. That's actually really smart. That's a good idea. Yeah, and just get feedback from my next group and say, did you like this better? Or did you mm -hmm. like this better? And like what, why and what, you know, yeah. that, that's kind of what I was thinking of doing because I don't know what one to use anymore. <laughs> They're both, yeah. But yeah, like, for sure. I think that's a great idea. My point on it. I know, I know like a lot of people love it, but so far I have not fallen in love with it. Okay. Well, Either use the My Challenge Tracker app or Facebook, but run your challenge groups. Um, make sure that you have challenge groups set up. And if you don't feel like you have enough people in it, join with another coach. You know, find, there's so many coaches on our team within our team page. Ask if somebody else wants to run a challenge group together. Um, and because sometimes it's just easier to run it together. And then one person posts one day, one person posts the other day, and you're all covered. So use the Challenge Tracker app or Facebook, but run your challenges. Or you could even do like a hashtag challenge and have people just hashtag stuff. Um, you know, you could, you could do that. Get creative. Consistency is key. You guys know this, but sometimes you just have to hear it a bunch of times and make mistakes and not stay consistent. For me personally, I had a rough weekend. I was working out of town, um, had my grandma's 92nd birthday party, and worked again. And so I haven't been able to sit at my desk and do some serious work until today. But I was able to stay consistent and get my power hour in about, I think I only missed one day. And I was able to do that because consistency is my focus. Consistency is something that I recognize when I'm doing the actions every single day, my business thrives but it takes consistency, it takes action. And there, you get to have that feeling inside where you're like, oh, like, I don't know how to describe it when you get this feeling of like, I know I need to do it, 
but I just don't want to right now. And that's fear. When that happens, when you're like, oh, I know I need to send out these messages, but maybe I'll just do something else. That's fear. And I don't know why, I don't know why we get that fear because as soon as you start doing the action, that feeling immediately goes away. As soon as you start getting in the habit and doing the actual action, that feeling goes completely away. So whenever you find yourself having that feeling, remind yourself that fear hates hustle. Remind yourself that whatever you're feeling right now is just fear. And as soon as you start to hustle, it will go away because it does. And you know that that's true. And that's why I love that statement so much. And that's why that's become like our team motto because it's so 100% true. When you start hustling, there's no room for fear. There's no room to be afraid of if somebody's going to say no or, you know, what to do when somebody starts to buy a challenge pack and gets into your challenge group, what to do then. There's no room for fear when you're actually taking action every single day. So, I really did just want to focus on keeping it simple, on focusing on these three things. The four vital behaviors, which I know that's like seven things, but the th four vital behaviors, doing those. And guys, I struggle with them too. You know that recognition is something that I struggle with the most. And I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to figure out how to be better at that. Um, but I struggle with these too. I, I am consciously working really hard to make this business the best that it can be. And through these four things, that's what you have to do. Um, was it Jeff on the national wake up call? He said something about the coaches, um, uh, on the top 10 trip and how most of them, they weren't doing anything spectacular. They're just laser focused on these four things. They're laser focused on getting their power hours in on providing training on doing training, um, you know, with other coaches and doing those four vital behaviors every single day. They're just doing a lot more of it. They're doing a lot more of it. And it's very, very focused. They're doing multiple power hours a day. They're doing multiple vital behaviors um, a day. They're doing a lot more personal development. That's why they're, they reach their levels that they have. Now I know that that's not hundred percent possible when everybody's working full-time jobs and has a life and has a family. So I want you to be able to find your balance. That said, balance isn't a real thing. That doesn't happen. Um, but I have found that whenever I was coaching, I want to say it was like three years ago, and I was really trying to hit diamond, and I was really trying to, I don't, I was trying to go part-time, but I had no idea what I had to do to go part-time. And I just wanted to be diamond, and I wanted to start making more money. And I was working like all the time. Like Matt was like, do I ever see you? Do I ever get to talk to you? And I don't want that to become your business. I don't want your business to take over your life. I want your business to allow you to have a life. So to do that, you have to focus like laser. You have to have a laser focus and you have to do only the things that matter. And when I started focusing, when I wanted to hit diamond, I focused super, super hard on recruiting. That was what I focused on. I presented the business like mad. I focused on finding people to present the business to. And that, that was my focus. That's where I went. I did what is coaching calls. I think like once or twice a month. Um, and that was my focus. And through that, I was able to learn some sort of balance. And I said that there really isn't balance because I mean, I don't know, like I've read so many books where like balance isn't a real thing. And when you're balanced, like life's boring, <laughs> which I mean, it kind of can be, I guess, but you want to make sure that your, your priorities in check. And I think that that's really, um, where balance is key is just making sure that you have your priorities in check. What do you want? Because there are going to be seasons where you're going to have to work this business super, super hard. And you're going to have to make sacrifices in other places if you want to reach certain goals. So it's recognizing, I guess that's what it is. It's recognizing what your priorities are for the specific season that you're in in life right now. Right now, I'm working to build this to a full-time income by the end of the year. To do that, I know that I have to work a lot more. Now, once you reach a certain level, you don't have to work as much. I will say that. Meg works about four hours a day on her business, and that's about it. And I can say that honestly because I talk to her about her business and she, sometimes she tells me I'm working way too much. And 
she's reached a level where she doesn't have to do that because she has the attraction marketing. She has certain things going on in the very beginning of your business. Sometimes you're going to have to work a little bit harder. No, you don't have to work six hours a day, but you have to be laser focused and you have to be focused on what your priorities are. Because if you're pushing for diamond, if you're pushing to recruit and have six to eight new coaches on your team every month, you're going to have to work harder than the coach who just wants to hit success club five and sign one to two coaches. You're going to have to work harder than that coach. So you have to pay attention to what you want. You have to know what you want personally and what your priorities are and what you need in your life right now. So I do want you to stay true to yourself. I want you to stay true to your goals and where you want to go and what is worth it to you. Maybe if you are ready to leave your job in the next four months, then put your head down and get grinding and make it happen because you can. But if you don't want to leave your job for another couple of years, then you can take it at a slower pace. You know what I mean? So I want you to focus on what your personal priorities are. I don't want you to focus on anybody else's. I want you to fulfill your dreams. So figure out what those are. Make sure that you're looking at your vision board. This is something that I did this weekend. I really looked at my vision board, saw where I was. I am well on my way to achieving half of them. The other half, I am definitely going to need to put like, push it by the end of the year. So look at the goals, look at the vision board. I know that you guys made vision boards. Look at your vision board, see where you're at and see how you can really evaluate and make those visions come to life within the next six months. Cause it's hundred percent possible. We have six months left in 2016. That's plenty of time. So that's all that I have for you tonight. Did you guys have any questions, comments, anything that you wanted to add? Anything? No. All right. Thanks so much for hopping on. You guys are doing such a great job. I'm super pumped for Tuesday night chats. Um, and we will do, I'll look at the schedule. We'll do another, um, maybe we'll do like a three day glimpse into coaching or something, um, where we can all post like a different video or something in a couple weeks. I think that could be kind of fun. So, um, look out for that. I'll, I'll work on that. So have a great night guys. Thanks so much for getting on. Bye. Bye. Bye.